please put in perspective best you can what's going on in Vegas, Barry. You know what? I, I don't think you can. I, I think that uh, this is uncharted territory. This has never happened before in any sport. Uh, it's certainly never happened in the NHL. Nothing has come close to this happening in the NHL where an expansion team in the first year of, uh, of being a team goes to the Stanley Cup Finals. And I like to put it in perspective like this. The Toronto Maple Leafs, who are the wealthiest team in the NHL, who are worth more than any other team in the NHL, have had every resource a team could possibly have, and they haven't played for the Stanley Cup since 1966. And, and that just sort of shows how rare and how hard it is to get to the Stanley Cup Finals. And here Vegas, uh, with a bunch of guys that their teams didn't want, uh, are four wins away from winning the Stanley Cup. So uh, it's just a phenomenal story. It's, it's been picking up legs all throughout the United States and Canada, and everyone's writing about it, and everyone's uh, got a view upon it. And it's just a magnificent story. It's just, a, it's just an unbelievable story what Vegas has done. Well, in terms of the view upon it, Barry, uh, we're hearing a lot, um, certainly since the uh, Vegas Golden Knights knocked off Winnipeg, hearing a lot that the rules for the expansion draft were tilted in their favor. We had George McPhee, the general manager on the show yesterday. He said that the rules were more fair, is how he put it, and then also said that for those complaining about it, they weren't complaining about the $17 million check that they received for the expansion fee. Where do you stand on that subject? Oh, I'm with George 100%. Uh, I think in the old days, the expansion teams were basically raped. Uh, they got the, the, the players that no one wanted. The rules were so stacked against them. They had no chance of, of being good. Uh, so the other owners wanted their cake and eat it too. They wanted to get the, the check, but they also wanted the new team coming in to be bad. So, you know, so finally these guys that are spending a half a billion dollars or more to get an expansion team, uh, finally are getting some decent players. And the thing is they're not, they're not getting, you know, the, the top six forwards or the top three defensemen. They're getting, you know, good young players. It's up to Vegas to pick these players and, and make the deals to get these players. And, and now you want to punish and say that it's not fair because uh, Vegas has done a good job. You can't have it both ways. And, and uh, so I'm with George McPhee a thousand percent. I, I think the rules were fair. I think that Vegas uh, did their job better than the teams that, that are existing teams. And now those teams that can't get to the Stanley Cup Finals want to sort of belittle what Vegas has done. I don't think that's right whatsoever. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.